So let's talk about traffic. Website traffic is simply the people who visit your website. If you do not have a website though, let's go over the first, first thing you should know about website traffic. If you do not have a website, then you don't need to worry about website traffic. You have to have something to send people to in order to even worry about driving traffic. If you don't, then driving traffic isn't where your focus should be. Your focus should be on finding um, that thing you want to do to make money online, get it up and going, and then start learning about traffic. Now, a second thing here, for those of you who do have a website, in order to make money, you need to get people to your sites who are interested in what you have to offer. This is known as targeted traffic. If you have a blog that's about dog training and you're an affiliate for a few eBooks, um, a few eBooks who show people you know how to train their dog, da 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 da. If someone comes to your site and they are interested in how to build a hot rod, they aren't going to want to buy an eBook on how to train their dog. So, with that being said, when you are doing things to drive traffic to your website, only do those things that get you targeted traffic. Using the dog training uh, affiliate blog example again. You wouldn't use a traffic exchange service to get traffic. Most people who use those are interested in how to make money online or get more traffic to their website, okay? They're usually marketers. They don't care about training their dogs. A few things you could do, though, are some forum marketing, forum marketing in a dog training forum, um, creating videos about dog training issues that people have and uploading them to YouTube and the other video sites out there. Um, writing articles about dog training, doing pay-per-click advertising uh, for keywords related to dog training, and the list goes on and on and on here. So rule number one, you need a website in order to drive traffic. Rule number two, you need targeted traffic to make money. Rule number three, make sure you're using the right traffic generation strategies for the right type of traffic. Now, here's a list of several different traffic strategies. Let's talk about these. We've got acquiring backlinks. This is off-page SEO. Um, this is where you do different activities to get backlinks to your site that are going to make you rank in Google, okay? Website optimization, on-page SEO. This is where you do things to your website like, you know, title tags, um, optimizing, you know, your, your site with keywords and, and the like. That's called on-page SEO, okay? So these two things are what make up SEO, which is search engine optimization. Then we got article marketing. Article marketing is simply um, finding a topic, creating articles on it, and submit writing those articles, submitting them to the article directories, and in your resource box, um, you put a link to your website that drives traffic to your website. Affiliate recruitment. This is for those of you who have a product. You can set up an affiliate program for it, and get people to promote your product for you. List building, create a squeeze page, drive traffic to it so that you can build a list that you can email anytime you want and make money on demand. Video marketing, um, there's a couple different ways you can do video marketing. Um, you can do video marketing to get backlinks or you can do video marketing to educate your audience about your product and get them to buy from you. Press release distribution. Um, with press release distribution, basically you're writing um, something exciting about what your company's doing, maybe you know a, a new product that you've added, a new contest, something like that, and you can distribute it to the many different um, press release sites out there. Blogging. Blogging is another one of those um, traffic strategies that there's many um, different ways that you can use it to drive traffic. You can get it, use it for backlinks, you can use it for educating people about your product. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do with blogging. Contest marketing, running a contest, simple. Social marketing, um, using places like Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn um, to uh, network with people in your industry or find people who are interested in what you have to offer. Um, media buying, that's like you know banner ads, um, stuff like that, um, basically website advertising, okay? Pay-per-click advertising, it's where you advertise on Google AdWords, you pay per click to your site. Um, banner advertising, that'd be under the media buying. Forum marketing, finding a forum that's related to um, your niche, going in and posting in that forum, getting to know people in that forum, and then putting a link in your resource, in your um, signature that directs people to your website. Paid reviews, there's lots of sites out there you can pay bloggers to review your product. They review your product, put a link on their website, traffic comes to your site. 
website advertising. Um, paid reviews and media buying and banner advertising would go under this. Easing advertising, finding easings or newsletters that are related to your niche and paying for ads in them. Viral marketing. Um, there's lots of different ways to do viral marketing. It's something, um, a, a campaign that you put together, put it out there, and people pass it on and pass it on and pass it on, getting you more and more traffic to your site. Software downloads. This is where you can create some little piece of software um, about your website and start uploading it to all the software directories out there. Get you lots of backlinks and get you some direct traffic too. Offline advertising. I could spend days on this. Um, um, that's just doing offline advertising, billboard advertising, uh, stuff like that. Uh, CPA networks. You can put your offer in a CPA network. They'll eat it up. Uh, affiliate networks. Advertising your affiliate program on affiliate networks. And the list goes on and on and on and on, guys, okay? And one last rule here about traffic. Rule number four. You have to constantly do things to get traffic to your site. If you just write an article and then do nothing else, you're not going to get much traffic. If you just create one video and nothing else, you're not going to get much traffic. You cannot do any traffic tactic just once and expect to get all the traffic you need day in and day out. You must drive traffic each day to your website to keep money rolling in. So if you remember these four rules, you'll be able to drive traffic to your site that actually makes you money day in and day out. Now, I know I should have covered traffic at the end of this course, um, but I wanted to get this out of the way before we even start talking about ways to actually make money. Um, so many people get hung up on the whole traffic thing, and I didn't want um, that to hold you back. So, let's continue on, and in the next several videos, we're going to be talking about the different ways you can make money online. We'll start off by talking about making money as an affiliate marketer, so I'll see you in the next video.